everybody, I'm Jeff Wall, this is Lingo Sports, and we have another MMA countdown video for you. You know, in our last couple of videos, we noticed that it's been pretty heavily UFC dominated. So we thought, let's mix things up and give a little bit more credit to those outside the UFC. And what better way to do that than give credit to the best fighters outside the Ultimate Fighting Championship. For this list, there is one tweak though. Judging fighters in this way is highly subjective, so there is no criteria for this list. So if you don't like it, let your voices be heard in the comments below. And of course, remember to like and share this video with your friends so they can get into the conversation as well. And don't forget to subscribe to Lingo Sports for more great videos like this. At number five, it's probably the best fighter to ever come out of Japan. Former Ryzen and Bellator champion and the only fighter to ever hold two premier belts in two premier organizations, it's Kyoji Horiguchi. Kyoji Horiguchi would have been much higher on this list if it wasn't for his most recent fight, a KO loss to Kai Asakura. Prior to that, he hasn't lost since his title shot against Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Horiguchi has reeled off 11 straight wins, finishing seven of those opponents. And he's been the poster boy for the Japanese promotion, Ryzen. All of this success above his natural fighting weight of 125. And many people still believe he actually stands a very good chance of being the first man to truly beat Demetrius Johnson since Dominic Cruz did back in 2011. And you can count me in on that. Horiguchi has also helped Ryzen and Bellator's cross promotion beating Bellator's 135 pound champion, Darian Caldwell, in both organizations to win both promotions bantamweight strap. At number four, Gagard Musasi has fought in just about every single premier organization there is, but now it looks like he's finally found his feet in Bellator. At age 34 in a 55 fight career, he may be in the best form we've ever seen yet. Gagard Musasi has had his ups and downs in a long career randomly getting KO'd by Uriah Hall, losing his Strikeforce title, and routinely getting out-wrestled. But since that 2015 loss to Hall, the Dreamcatcher has been catching bodies. In what should be a nine-fight win streak with a loss to a juiced-up Rafael Lovato Jr., Gagard Musasi has been spectacular with every single win against a notable name. Talos Leitis, Tiago Santos, Vitor Belfort, Uriah Hall, Chris Weidman, Alexander Shlomenko, Alfaro Cavallo, Roy McDonald, and Lyoto Machida. It's safe to say Gigard Musasi is aging like a fine wine. Now we have to give a nod to a woman who, like many PFL fighters, has had their career seriously stalled by the COVID-19 pandemic. A potential lightweight queen, Kayla Harrison. One of the most decorated athletes to cross over into MMA is the multiple Olympic gold medalist, Kayla Harrison. All her pro fights have exclusively taken place in PFL. She looks poised for a run with five of her seven wins ending with a finish. Harrison comes into the sport an even more decorated judoka than Ronda Rousey. So if she can put it all together, the sky's the limit for the former Olympic champ. Few fighters have been putting in work under the Bellator umbrella like Patricio Pitbull. Their two division champion has fought just about anybody the promotion can get their hands on. Patricio Pitbull has been competing in Bellator since the days of Bjorn Rebney. That is a long time. He's been battling the likes of Pat Kern, Daniel Strauss, Wilson Hayes, Benson Henderson, and so much more. But recently, he's found his feet beating up on Daniel Weichel, Emmanuel Sanchez, and KOing Michael Chandler. With both the featherweight and lightweight belts firmly around his waist, there is no doubt he belongs amongst the sports elite. The question for him is, who can challenge him now with Chandler potentially out the door? No PFL fighter made this list, but the closest was a former alpha male fighter in Lance Palmer. The former Ohio State wrestler has been dominating the MMA scene for some time now, quietly in PFL. Palmer has used his great wrestling background, ever-improving stand-up, and top-level athleticism to rack up wins since the PFL was still called the World Series of Fighting and Justin Gaethje was its lightweight champion. Palmer has a master record of 15-3 in PFL, winning the featherweight belt and featherweight tournament. 
Palmer's only issue, and the reason why he didn't make this countdown, is that the wins have been coming over, well, let's just say a lack of big name opponents. But with the cash prize of $1 million at the end of every PFL season, Palmer has the right to be content right where he is. At number two, it's another two division champion, the light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of Bellator, Ryan Bader. Ryan Bader had finally fixed a lot of his early issues that plagued him in his early UFC career, cleaning up his striking and his strategy in fights. Bader had looked better than ever, but as mentioned in the most undeserving title shots video, Bader was passed over, disrespected, and underpaid. Scott Coker saw that opportunity and snatched it to sign the former tough winner in what is the prime of his career. And thus far, he has destroyed the competition. Undefeated since 2016, Bader has finished the likes of Irla Latifi, Baby Nog, Linton Vassal, Molwal, and Fedor Emelianenko, as well as some decision wins over Phil Davis and Matt Mitrione. Ryan Bader has found new life, and by the looks of it, may extend this run to the end of his career. Now, finally, for the fighter that takes our number one spot. He may not just be the best fighter outside of the UFC. He may be the best pound for pound fighter in the world and probably one of the best, if not the best in the sports history. It's the only one fighter to make this countdown. One champion, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson comes in at number one. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson has basically been undefeated since 2012. There may never be a fighter who has dominated the competition like DJ. Over an improbable 17, yes, that's a 17 fight win streak, Demetrius Johnson has jumped at the opportunity to fight anyone unlike any other champion before him. He is one of the most active champions in the history of the sport. A lot of that activity too has been helped due to the utter domination of his opponents. To this day, the only fighter that could potentially rival the well-rounded skill of Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson is the one and only George St. Pierre, and that's saying a lot. Johnson owns wins over the best the sport has to offer in Joseph Benavidez twice, John Dotson twice, Ali Bagotinov, Wilson Hayes, Danny Kincaid, Ian McCall, Ray Borg, Kyojo Horiguchi, and Henry Cejudo, yes, twice. And don't let anybody tell you different. Johnson is now on his quest to have multiple belts and multiple organizations with the one flyweight Grand Prix belt, just the beginning. So that's our list, everybody. You can let us know in the comments below who you think the top five fighters are outside the UFC. And if you have any questions at all, or any doubt about Demetrius Johnson's clear and obvious win over Henry Cejudo, you can get at me in the comments below as well. And don't forget to check out all the great MMA content and other sports content on Lingo Sports. Take care.